Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video I am going to show you how you can create this amazing overshoot and bounce effect in After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. Also if you enjoy these tutorials then you can support me on Patreon, link for that is in the description below. Alright so right now I am in After Effects so let's begin by creating a simple animation. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and let me just quickly draw a square and after that I'm going to add scale animation to it. So let's start from here and let's set it scale to 0 and just move our timeline indicator to somewhere around 1 second and I can change it back to 100. So if I play back here you can see we have this kind of animation. Now if you want to add overshoot to this you can use this expression now go to motionscripts.com and this is a very nice website and it has tons of information i would highly recommend you guys to check it out so in order to get the expression you can just play click on this keyframe overshoot and after that you can see we have this section so we are going to use this expression so just simply select it after that right click click on copy then go back to after effects and i'm going to add the expression to this property so all you have to do is just hold on the alt key and option if you are on mac then just simply click on this stopwatch and after that you can press ctrl v to paste the expression so now you can see we have our expression over here and now if i play back here you can see we have this really small overshoot over here so in order to increase it all you have to do is just make this keyframe closer so the closer these keyframes are the more overshoot it will have so right now let's set it to somewhere around here and now if I play back here you can see we have added some really nice overshoot to this and if you want to enhance it more you can just make them closer just like this. Now if you want to tweak this more you can just simply zoom in and after that just make sure to select this first keyframe only because if you select both the keyframes it will not work. So select the first keyframe then you can right click go to keyframe assistant easy ease or you can press f9 and after that just click on this icon and it will take you into the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure that you are in the edit speed graph and after that you can select this handle and just simply drag it something like this so now you can see we have graph which is shaped like this so if i go back and now if i play back here you can see we have changed the animation let me just quickly zoom out now we have created this sort of animation so let me just quickly trim the area so so that we can visualize it better if you want you can play around with the position to check out what looks good for your animation so I think somewhere around here it looks good just like this now if you want you can play around with these parameters as well so over here you can see we have this frequency and decay so frequency defines the number of overshoots so if I set this to something like 30 and now if I play back so you can see that it just comes and stays because the value is really high so let me just quickly change it to 10 and I can just simply increase it duration so now if I play back here you can see that our animation keeps on wiggling after this and in the same way you can play around with the decay so I can just simply lower down it to something like 1 and now if I play back here you can see that now it will keep on going just like this but if you don't want to mess with these options then you can just leave them to default which are 5 and 3 so the default values are perfect now you can add this overshoot to any property you want so let me just quickly select and press R for rotation and I can add a keyframe so let's move it somewhere around here and in the beginning I want this to be at negative 90 so you can see we have this kind of animation now let's have add overshoot to this as well so again hold down the alt key or option if you are on mac then click on this stopwatch then press ctrl v to paste the expression so now you can see we have this kind of animation so let me just quickly select this press u and I'm going to tweak this keyframe as well just like this so now you can see we have this kind of animation and if you don't want the scale you can just simply click over here 
and make sure to hold down the alt key so that you will remove the expression as well so now you can see we have created the bounce back effect on the rotation as well now let me show you another cool trick so if i remove the expression from the rotation as well as the keyframe so we have only the scale animation now i can select the pan anchor tool and i can change its anchor point so if i place it somewhere around here you can enable snapping if you want precision something like this so now you can see we have created different animation again if you want you can just move it somewhere around here and now if i play back here you can see our animation is happening from the bottom in the same way you can change it and place it wherever you want just like this now let's see how you can add bounce effect to this so for that let's hide this layer and after that i'm going to select and create an ellipse so just draw a ellipse let me just place it somewhere around here and after that i'm going to select it then press p for position and i'm going to add a keyframe so let me just quickly move its anchor point in the center so first i want this to be at some height so i can just place it somewhere around here and after that i can just move it down something like this so if i play back we have this sort of animation so now to add the bounce effect again you have to go to the motionscript.com and from here you can search for the bounce effect so if you go down here you can see we have this keyframe bounce back expression so just select all this and you can just right click copy then again go back to after effects and now i can just hold down the alt key then click and i can just simply press ctrl v to paste it so now you can see we have added some sort of bouncing at the end again you can move the keyframes closer so now you can see we have really nice bouncing so you can play around with this like we did with the overshoot expression just like this and if i play back here you can see now our bounce is happening and again if you want to play around with these values you can do that so if i change the elasticity to something like one so now you can see our ball is very elastic and it will keep on bouncing just like this and here g stands for gravity so if you increase this value so let's say if i set this to 10,000. so now if i play back here you can see that after the ball hits the ground it does not go much in the upward direction it just simply stays close to the ground because the gravity is very high so you can just lower it down to something like 5000 works the best so all the default values are pretty much good so nmax stands for the maximum bounces so if i set this to 3 or maybe let's set this to 1 so now if i play back here you can see that it will stop after one bounce so this is how you can add some really nice bounce back effect to this also if you want to enhance this more then you can select the layer and enable the motion blur just like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice motion blur to this and it makes your animation looks very good now in the same way you can animate your logos as well so for example i have this comp over here and in this i have this logo and this text and now i'm going to add some overshoot to this so first let me select this and i'm going to select this one and after that press u and you can just simply select the keyframes press ctrl c to copy them then i'm going to select both of them then press ctrl v and now you can see we have added the keyframes so let me just quickly scale this down so the logo is very big and i can just simply scale it down something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have added the keyframe overshoot to both of them you can again offset them just like this now let me show you one more thing so again we can select the layers then move their anchor points down below just like this so now if i play back here you can see we have created this sort of animation so in the same way you can apply these expressions to whatever properties you want and it will give you really nice overshoot so i hope you learned something from this video and if you want to learn about motion graphics and animation then make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon also make sure to follow me on instagram and you can submit me your queries if you have any question regarding these videos or you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one